What's up, folks? Your buddy Fatal Ready Tank. We're going to be doing a raw recap. Before I start the recap, I want to thank everybody for hitting 200 subscribers. And if possible, I'd like for you to check out my page. All along the side on the right, there's a bunch of featured channels. All of them are really cool. I'd like for you at least to go check them out, show them some love, and if you like them, possibly subscribe. Once again, thank you everybody for 200. And with that, let's get into the recap. We start off with Seth Rollins coming out carrying a steel chair. We have a recap of the Super Shit Show from Friday. Rollins talks about the Super Showdown. He's interrupted by Boring Corbin, who wastes a bunch of time dealing with the crowd's booze. Corbin says he'll beat Seth Rollins at Stomping Grounds, and then he'll take care of Brock Lesnar. He says at Stomping Grounds, he will be having a special referee. Sami Zayn comes out. He says he's on Team Corbin. So there's another reason for me not to like Zayn. He goes on by saying that Seth Rollins and Monday Night Raw would be better off if he wasn't Universal Champion. Rollins questions Zayn's motives. After a bit, Rollins says he's going to beat up Zayn. Then Kevin Owens comes out. He says he has Sami Zayn's back. He doubles down on Zayn's thoughts. And then Rollins calls him out for a main event match later tonight. We then have Lars Sullivan versus the Lucha House Party in a three-on-one elimination match. This is basically just a squash match. As you can guess, Lars Sullivan won it. We then have a backstage segment where R-Truth, Carmella, EC3, Heath Slater, Cedric Alexander, and Drake Maverick are all stuck in an elevator. This is going to go on for most of the night. We then have a split-screen interview with Lacey Evans and Becky Lynch. This was basically just a waste of a couple of minutes. I will say, however, there was one good quote of the night from Becky Lynch when she said, Dirt and gold come from the same place. That doesn't make them equal, though. So let's waste some more time with an episode of Miz TV and his special guest, Samoa Joe. They talk about Samoa Joe getting back his U.S. title, and The Miz tells Samoa Joe that he shouldn't have threatened Rey Mysterio's son. Samoa Joe comes back with, well, maybe we should start talking about your family. They start to face off, then Braun Strowman comes out. He says that he wants a shot at the U.S. title. Then Bobby Lashley comes out. He says that it's not over between him and Strowman. He wants a shot at the title. Then Ricochet comes out, says he wants a shot at the title. Then Cesaro comes out. He doesn't say anything about the title, but he straight out attacks Ricochet. A big brawl starts out with all six people, and guess what, player? We have a six-man tag match. Oh, oh for God's sake. The Miz, Ricochet, and Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley, Cesaro, and Samoa Joe. Yay. Really didn't care about this match. Ricochet got the 630 on Cesaro and won it. Alright, next. We then have Becky Lynch and Bailey versus Alexa Bliss and Lacey Evans. Nikki Cross is at ringside. Here's a big question I really don't understand. Is Alexa Bliss a face or a heel? In an earlier segment tonight, she was a face when she was talking to Nikki Cross, but over on SmackDown, she's a heel. What the fuck? Um, WWE writing. Can we kind of have some type of uh, continuity here? Anyways, this was kind of a decent match. Lacey Evans got the women's right on Bailey and got the pin. Okay. Then we have Paul Heyman in the ring doing what he does best. Talk about Brock Lesnar. He was pissed off about what happened at the Super Showdown and that from here on out, they're not going to announce when Brock Lesnar's cashing in. It may be a surprise. No shit. I mean, you know, Brock Lesnar's been shit for a Universal Champion, so why wouldn't he be shit at Money in the Bank? Then we have the Iconics coming out. They run down the crowd, run down the jobbers that they're supposed to be facing. It was a squash match. Okay, the Iconics won. Then we have another recap of the Super Showdown with the Shane McMahon and Roman Reigns match. Then Drew McIntyre and Shane McMahon come out for another fucking stupid celebration. Just another fucking waste of time. We then have a triple threat tag team match for the Raw Tag Team Championships. The Usos versus The Revival versus Champions, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. This was actually a good match. I liked it. I think pretty much out of all the matches tonight, this was the top one. There was a lot of action from all three teams. I really got into it. Jey Uso hit the splash on Kurt Hawkins, but in all the commotion, he missed that he got tagged by Scott Dawson. He runs in, pins Hawkins, and the Reviver are now new Raw Tag Team Champions. We then have an episode of the Firefly Funhouse. Mercy and Ramblin' Rabbit are having a fight, and Bray Wyatt smashes Ramblin' Rabbit with a big-ass hammer. They seriously need to bring Bray Wyatt in and get him into the ring fast. I think pretty much the only good point of Raw right now, and probably WWE, are the Firefly Funhouse and Bray Wyatt in the 24-7 Championship. I was kind of iffy on the championship part, but it actually is pretty entertaining in some of the spots. But with that, we go into the rest of the shit show. Our main event, Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens with Sami Zayn as an outside referee. I guess you can pretty much guess where this is going. It was basically just a bullshit match. The crowd really wasn't into it. Sami Zayn kept getting into it every other minute. Rollins got fed up, grabbed Sami Zayn. He bitches out and gets Seth Rollins disqualified. Baron Corbin comes running in, attacks Seth Rollins, but bails once Rollins starts to fight back, leaving Sami Zayn alone in the ring with Seth Rollins and a steel chair. 
Rollin lays out Zane's quite a few times with the chair, taking his frustrations out on Zane by giving him a stomp, and Seth Rollins stands tall at the ring as we end tonight's Raw. Oh my god, we had way too many fucking talking sections in this fucking show. We had five matches in the entire night. One was definitely good. Uh, we, maybe we had two that were decent. The rest of them were, eh, I really couldn't give shit about. I'm surprised with the wild card thing going on, we didn't have Roman Reigns out tonight. And I'm tired as shit with the Shane McMahon bullshit and his sack buddies Drew McIntyre and a revival. It's boring, I can't stand it, and I'm not the only person. If you ever look at Twitter when these things are going on, they are shitting this whole thing down. Well, hopefully SmackDown will be better. We'll have to find out what wild cards we're going to have that night. And I'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's Raw, what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.